What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated three division world champion, former three belt, three division, simultaneously WBA, super featherweight, super champion, WBA, lightweight, and WBA junior welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Javante Tank Davis. 27 wins, no loss, no draw. 25 big wins by way of knockout. He is uh, 28 years of age, five foot five with a 67 inch arm reach. Javante Tank Davis has announced that he will be facing off against uh, uh, undefeated, lightweight, junior welterweight, Mexican superstar title contender, King Rod Ryan Garcia. King Rod Ryan Garcia is uh, 23 wins, no losses, no draw, 19 wins by way of knockout. He is 24 years of age. Uh, five foot ten with a seventy inch arm reach. Uh, he's he's stated that he will be fighting against Ryan Garcia, and it looks like uh, that fight. They announced the fight that they both have agreed and signed the fight, and it looked like they're gonna fight uh, um, in April. Okay, but prior to that, Javante Tate Davis he will be in the ring uh, January seventh, and he will be facing off against undefeated uh, super featherweight WBA uh, world champion. Uh, Dominican superstar boxer, Dominican star boxer, and Hector Garcia. Okay, so Hector Garcia and Ryan and Javante Tate Davis, they're going to be facing off against each other January 7th in DC, Washington, DC, the District of Columbia. And after that, Javante Tate Davis successful, he will be facing off against Ryan Garcia possibly in April. Okay, uh, so with that said, uh, in this announcement, you don't see uh, the obvious. The obvious is missing from this, and that's uh, um, undefeated, retired, legendary, iconic, Hall of Fame superstar boxer, Floyd Money Mayweather and Mayweather Promotions, okay? Mayweather Promotions, Floyd Mayweather uh, promoted Javante Tank Davis in his fight for quite some time, for years, okay? And now uh, Javante Tank Davis will be fighting, and Mayweather Promotions is not involved in this, none of these announcements, okay? And somebody asked Javante Tank Davis, why is Floyd Mayweather not in the, um, involved in the negotiations? What's wrong with your relationship with Floyd Mayweather and your relationship with Mayweather Promotion CEO Lennon Ellaby? To which Javante Tate Davis has stated that Lennon Ellaby was betting that uh, Rolando Roley Romero, another TMT Mayweather Promotions fighter, undefeated at the time, lightweight title contender star boxer Rolando Roley Romero, was going to beat and knock out Javante Tank Davis. So Javante Tank Davis is saying there's no love loss between uh, himself and um, Mayweather and Lennon Ellaby. And Javante Tank Davis even goes in depth and says that some of Javante Tank Davis' family members, some of my family members uh, that Lennon Ellaby didn't know was my family members, overheard Lennon Ellaby saying that Roley is going to knock me out and that they was picking Roley to beat me, okay? So he says that uh, that's part of the reason why um, he is no longer with Mayweather Promotions. Now, leading up into uh, his fight with Roley Romero May 28th of this year uh, at the Barclays Center where they broke records and did a $5 million gate, you know, uh, Javante Tank Davis, he let it be known that he has one fight left with Mayweather Promotions, which was the Roley fight. And he says, from the, the moment he knocked out Roley, this is where the serious issues in, uh, started. Now, but leading up into that, uh, Javante Tate Davis, he let it be known that uh, he was parting ways for Mayweather Promotions. This was his last fight with Mayweather Promotions, and he had no interest in re-signing, and that he was gonna focus on GTD Promotions, Javante Tate Davis Promotions, right? And so, you know, um, uh, now after the fight was interesting, he, he was stating that, you know, um, that, you know, uh, Mayweather Promotions, his team is the best and Mayweather Promotions is the best uh, and he wasn't leaving. And Lennon Ellaby, you know, was there post-fight and Lennon Ellaby was like, yeah, tell him you're not leaving. He was like, no, we're not leaving, so on and so forth. But uh, after that, you know, Javante Tank Davis, he let it be known and he was taking many, many jabs at Floyd Mayweather and at Mayweather Promotions and letting it be known that, you know, there's no love lost there. So Javante Tank Davis reiterates that you know, they bet against him and that, you know, they was picking that Roley Romero was going to knock him out, which is ironic because he stated that uh, the only reason he was fighting Roley Romero was because they uh, felt like it was an in-house fight and that they felt like 
you know, maybe Roley with his size and his power could possibly knock me out. So he was stating that, you know, he felt like they was picking against him to begin with. Wow, that's huge, you know. Uh, so uh, the fact that Javante Tank Davis stated that, okay, is going to have a lot of fighters, a lot of fighters moving forward, not wanting to uh, uh, deal with, you know, uh, Mayweather promotions. They're not going to want to deal with Mayweather promotions. They're going to want to, uh, um, you know, they're not going to want to take the chance on Mayweather promotions. They're going to, uh, they're going to feel like, you know, you, Mayweather promotions is backdooring them. That's ironic because I thought that Leonard Ellerby and Javante Tank Davis had a close relationship, but it's apparent uh, uh, their relationship wasn't as close as I thought. You know, um, and now Javante Tank Davis is focusing on his own career. You know, uh, I know Javante Tank Davis has to feel, you know, uh, uh, disappointed, right? He has to feel hurt because uh, all in the public, the only thing they was talking about was, uh, you know, Javante Tank Davis is a superstar. Javante Tank Davis is the man. He's the man to beat, you know. And now for Javante Tank Davis to say that his family uh, overheard Leonard Ellaby picking Roley to knock him out and beat him, uh, and that, you know, essentially they was betting on and hoping that Roley beat Javante Tank Davis because uh, Roley Romero, who was, ironically, he's not signed to Mayweather Promotions anymore either. But I guess they felt like they, you know, uh, they could, they had a better chance of re-signing Roley Romero than they did uh, Javante Tank Davis. So, uh, again, essentially, they was uh, ha putting their eggs in the Roley Romero basket. Uh, that's disappointing, you know, uh, um, because... You know, they were saying that they was neutral, you know, uh, and obviously we don't know how true this is, but this is according to Javante Tank Davis. And uh, part of the reason why he's been poking jabs at Floyd Mayweather, uh, he stated, why is this dude Mayweather speaking for me? Tell dude to stop speaking for me. It's, it's unfortunate, man. The sport of boxing is, uh, uh, is, is the wild, wild west, man. So Javante Tank Davis versus uh, Hector Garcia, January 7th. Then Javante Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia in April. Uh, we got to see if, if Ryan Garcia is going to have a fight coming up. Is he going to have a tune-up? So let's see how this all unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like the shitty videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.